We're shifting focus now to news coming in from Jammu and Kashmir where the government has terminated uh, Dr. Bilal Ahmed Dalal and Dr. Nigat Shaheen Chilul from the service for hatching a conspiracy to falsify post-mortem report of Asya and Nilofar of Shopia who had unfortunately died by accidental drowning on the 29th of May 2009. CBI charge sheet is what is the basis that is uh, behind this particular sacking. The charge sheet says the ultimate aim of the duo was to create disaffection against the Indian forces. Ishan, my colleague, getting us more details of what exactly transpired and what has led to this particular decision of the Jammu and Kashmir government. Yes, Ishan. Uh, well, yes, uh, you know, both these doctors have been suspended or uh, terminated from the service for the immediate effect by the government. Uh, you know, uh, this has been after 14 years uh, when the widespread protests in Kashmir Valley back then over uh, the alleged uh, rape and murder of two women uh, who uh, initially were alleged that there was a conspiracy by security forces. A charge which has been dismissed and CBI later on went on the probe and found all these allegations against forces untrue. Uh, the JNK administration terminated both the services and said that uh, uh, these both doctors were involved in the uh, you know, autopsy of the, of the two women. And uh, after that, uh, the government alleges them for actively working with Pakistan and hatching a conspiracy uh, you know, within its assets in Kashmir uh, to falsify the post-mortem report. Uh, now, uh, the, you know, they were among the two, uh, um, uh, you know, in the CBI charge sheet because the case was handed over to CBI. Back then, Umar Abdullah's government had also, uh, you know, suspended them, had also taken action against them. But now, after 14 years, government's swing in into action and, uh, you know, both of them have been suspended from the services. Uh, right. Now, remember, you know, there was an order by the General Administration Department which has come out and has suspended both of them. They were working in different positions as uh, doctors and uh, they have now been terminated from the service. Right, so then it's now been axed uh, by the Jammu and Kashmir administration. To stay on with me, Tejinder, my colleague, also joining us, getting us more details. Now, Tejinder, this is uh, over two decades uh, old case. What exactly were the circumstances back then as far as the investigation goes of the CBI? I see two girls identified in uh, Asiya and Milofar. Uh, they had accidentally died after falling into a stream. They had drowned there. But uh, following that, uh, some people in that area, they saw it an opportunity to form a trouble across Kashmir Valley. So they spread a rumor that both these girls, Asiya and Milofar, they were raped. <coughs> and uh, subsequently, they were killed by security forces. These were the allegations that were leveled. And these two doctors who have been identified as Dr. Bilal Ahmed Dalal and Dr. Nigat Shaheen Chilu, uh, they both conspired with uh, the Pakistani and ISI elements and they somehow arranged uh, semen from uh, somebody and uh, in order to show that both these uh, girls, they were raped by security forces, they uh, fabricated the post-mortem report and uh, in that report they showed that they were raped and then they were killed. Uh, but uh, subsequent investigations led to finding the fact that both these girls they were not raped, uh, and uh, all these uh, the, the evidences, they were fabricated, they were forged. Even uh, the post-mortem report uh, was forged. Uh, the CBI carried out the investigation, but uh, when the CBI uh, filed the charge sheet some eight years ago, uh, the counsel of CBI, uh, they started getting threats from the terrorists, and uh, those counsel, they could not uh, uh, continue with the, uh, the, the case in the court, and of, uh, after that, it took at least eight more years for uh, the government in Jammu and Kashmir to finally take the decision to sack these two doctors who yes. had, uh, with, with the active uh, uh, comments of uh, Pakistan. ISI had fabricated uh, the post-mortem report just to show the security forces in bad light. Also, uh, the, the turmoil which lasted in Kashmir Valley after this incident for seven months, uh, more than seven people, they lost their lives. In the turmoil, there were at least 600 incidents of violence that were reported from across Kashmir Valley in those uh, seven months, uh, which led to the death of seven people, injury to 103, and a loss of around 6,000 crore rupees of business across Kashmir Valley. This is uh, the estimate. Yes. Uh, of, uh, uh, so uh, now that action has been taken and both these doctors have been uh, terminated, their services have been terminated, and we are told by our sources in uh, the Jammu and Kashmir government that legal action would also be taken against these two doctors, yes. Right. Right, so it's uh, not the only action that is uh, going to be taken against the duo. There's more in store. We'll keep a track of that. But for the moment, Ishan and Tejinder, thank you so much for getting us the latest. With that, it's time for a